welcome to school of civil engineering in my previous video i have shown you that how we'll design our beam and column and how we'll find out our record reinforcement for our beam and column and in this video i will show you that about our building detailing and i mean i will find out our detailing so let's start At first, I'll open my previous model from Edaps. So it is our previous model, and if you're new here, you can also previous video. Almost uh, there have 27 video about Edaps 2016 version, and uh, it will also cover 2015 and 2017 course. Here, everything are almost same. So first of all, we'll run our After analyze, so our analysis is complete. Now we'll go here detailing. We'll go here detailing. So from here we'll go detailing preferences. Here unit. First of all, you have to select unit. I mean, which unit you want? US or metric? Here. If you select US, it will show the value in foot, inch, keep pound, and if you select the value, it will see in meter, millimeter like that. So suppose we'll select US, and here length, dimension length, foot, section and thickness inch, then river spacing in inch, force in keep. You can select here as your requirement also you can select her as your requirement i mean which unit you want to see your value and material quantity so river length here slab area also from here concrete volume from here and river wet from here so click ok you have to select what you want click ok then We'll go here detailing from here detailing we'll go here I start detailing sorry here I start detailing and before that you can use a reverse selection rule column selection rule fire and sp spreadle selection rule i mean according to requirement and for concrete preferences slab beam column wall i mean you can change it according to requirement by clicking here so and also here you can modify your section reverse selection rule and then and here drawing sheet setup by using this option you'll be able and how will be your drawing sheet here so from here you will be able to set that according to requirement click ok then here go and start detailing so um, previously I have already done that so it's showing previously I have one so I'll go yes over it our detailing is being prepared here our detailing have completed now from here I'm seeing that this is for top floor I mean for floor 5 sorry from here I'll go from here you have to click detailing then from here you have to select drawing sheet component view so this is for list of drawing here first place list of drawing then you will find the typical concrete beam elevation s1 so from here you are showing that the beam elevation 
here it's showing the layer p a d g f s here is the beam and here is the height of our beam and here is the effective depth and from here for section 2 elevation section 2 from here we are seeing that this is for full building this is for full building I mean with lapping typical lapping uh, is a typical concrete beam elevation so from here you will be able to find that section and from here you are seeing that this is showing that another part here L on L to L L C here if we see that there are three part one two three and from that direction there are one and two there are two so first of all showing a normal elevation and S2 it's showing for only two part and it's showing only for three part of our building so from here beam section this is the beam section for beam section A this is the for beam section A this is for beam section B this is for B beam section and this is for beam section C again if we go here here if we go here we are saying that there have A B and there have B there have C A B like that so A B C these are beam section and concrete column typical elevation so from here also we are seeing that this one or column reinforcement so here it's showing the column section A and is the section for column reinforcement detailing and after that we'll minor that and go for floor slab so this for slab 5 and section 1 and it is section 2 and this is for this is for plan for floor 4 and this for section 1 and this for section 2 then again this is for floor 3 4 base floor base etc like that so you can check that after that beam detailing from here click here concrete beam schedule and table so from here concrete beam river table on off tool so from here you are seeing that for beam id 7c b1 for beam id 7c b1 it's showing the spent length i mean not beam length what was 14 feet 6 inch width was 10 inch and depth was 18 inch and uh, longitudinal rivers it's showing a for a it is 2 I mean uh, 60 millimeter 2 bar and here 60 millimeter 2 bar here also for F 14 millimeter 4 bar like that way and for here is drop zone A B C it's showing 3 3 bar for each drop it's showing 10 millimeter bar into 18 center to center distance 18 center to center distance for zone B no strap for zone C 
gates 19 10mm bar from 8 inch center to center and uh, like that way you'll be able to find out your strap also this is the detailing and again detailing second detailing then close that and here for here you'll find for concrete column here is the layout for concrete column and here is the concrete column schedule from here you are showing the C1 on C22 from here you will be able to find the floor to floor reinforcement requirement and for wall detail here wall detail means Haven't used any wall, but it's showing the stair slab like wall, so we'll not consider that. Then, frame details, frame view, frame layout from frame layout with the frame layout for base individual frame elevation one, elevation two. It is like our, and from here, you'll be able to find your beam name and also you'll be able to find your column name and here you can show it 3d form of your beam and column so if you double click here it will show you the 3D form of your beam. It's showing 3D form of your beam. Again, close that. Open another one. Double click and open. It's also showing. This is the section. Like that, you can find out that and manage that for columns. You'll be able to see that this is showing it is showing the elevation of column. So from here you'll be able to find out the column reinforcement in detail in 3D form. The last of all, it show the total detailing of your detail drawing of our building. So here you will get it in a sheet. So from here we can take that this beam section. Here it will be able to find out the beam section. required so this is for this one this for 2s like that way you can use the detail and here there have another software for detailing or uh, etabs 2018 are showing a good detailing procedure so you can also check that and in this way can use that detailing option for your building design so thank you thank you very much stay stay connected till next video